Hey folks, this is IOE Thor, and we're back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is Alex the Assassin, and he's in his Centurion Mark Seven or Centurion Seven One. Um, this is my favorite Tier Nine tank, by the way. Maybe second favorite now that the Thirteen Ninety is Tier Nine. But um, yeah, it's a pretty awesome tank, and we're gonna get to see what it does a little bit later. For now, this is of course a Tier Ten game on live, folks. Um, I do want to remind you, stay tuned after the game for the bonus clip, um, and I'm going to keep doing those as much as I can. I'm also going to try and keep this video to about 10 minutes, um, so, you know, something like that. I'm going to start trying to keep all my videos to about 10 minutes, um, and hopefully that, uh, speeds up the games a little bit more. Anyways, unfortunately we're going to get shot in the face by some nice HE. That's annoying. Everything on the front of this turret, when it's looking down at an opponent, is all angled nice enough that things are just ricochet off it like mad. Um, unless you get hit right in the cheek. Detriment to this tank is it's not super fast. Um, and of course it doesn't have any kind of armor on. But that doesn't really matter. Um, you can choose to use... The big gun, the Royal Ordnance uh, gun in this thing, or you can use the little 250 damage one. Uh, I personally ran the smaller gun on this thing because the rate of fire is so good that you can just decimate entire teams, assuming that they let you continuously fire. See, auto locks onto the AMX and just starts hurting this poor tank. <laughs> Ah, uh, we get hit by the 59, or T49 again, and there it goes, the, um, AMX. Wow, my brain is just not firing on all cylinders right now. <laughs> um, of course, it wants to take out the T49 next, but of course, same problem. Ooh, 49 misses the shot, though, and T32 and our T30 go aggressive. This is a great time to go in. Uh, because, of course, the T-49 cannot do anything in return right this second. Uh, unfortunately, it looks... Ooh, nope, he does not reload in time. T-32 takes him out. Uh, we did lose our city crew, and we're about to lose our base, though. So that that's an issue. Um, on the upside, we took out most of the force down here. I doubt the Batcha is still here. But if he is, that he's going to be a small speed bump on... On the road, the U50 definitely doesn't look like it's here anymore. Um, as Alex hits the map and tries to ping some guys to safety, that is a T28. That is not what you want to be looking at from over here. I don't think he's going to hit this shot. Um, I guess we'll see in a second when it gets relit again. Uh, AMX. 13105 lights up the uh, the two medium tanks that we are looking for. Unfortunately, no shots on either one as they run into the building over there and deal with the 105. Uh, that 105 is probably not going to get back out of there. He, he's got two top-tier tanks on him. Yeah, we didn't. unfortunately didn't do anything to the, the T-28. With a gold round aimed as Lord Glacius, maybe you're going to go through. Oh, T28 takes out the T32, and now it gets a little bit scary. Scorpion G just wants to die, apparently. Oh, so you see that turret armor come into play as the Yagzilla bounces one off of... Actually, that was supposed to go into our Kapoa, but went up and over us instead. Looks like he's going to aggress on the Bat Chat, which is exactly the right target. Uh, there's no point in going after the Axilla, and by running away, or making it look like he's running away, he actually gets the side of the Axilla. 
and is able to do some damage to him and then it tr gets tracked by artillery and I don't think the scorpion is going to do anything to the EXO. Uh, that looks like he can see us, doesn't it? <laughs> doesn't it feel like he can see us? It's possible that was... I don't know. Ooh, T-28. Hmm. I was thinking that the Yagzilla ping that he, he got lit and the bat chat just um, fired blind. I don't know if that's the case or not. Unfortunately, not even taking the time to aim that shot. And it goes high. Um, looking for the bat shot. He's not going to find it just yet. Oh, come on. Aim these shots and you'll connect them. This gun you cannot snapshot with. Uh, the little gun you could. The little gun could snap you off quite nicely. No! Third unnamed shot. Well, no, that was... It was aimed, but unfortunately not. Oh, that. Well, good to know. We are definitely lit up then. So, Batch hit the cyber turret. Oh, come on. Take this guy down. Nope. <laughs> Still not. <laughs> okay. Well, the Scorpion G finally takes him down. And now it's just to take him down the Suma and then the Batch Hat. Artillery goes down though, and so, and the, of course, the Suma is on full health. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Batchat's gotta be reloading. We haven't seen him in a while. Um, most likely he's reloading. Actually, the fact that both of these are autoloaders actually helps us because, assuming we can survive their clips, we can do massive damage to them once they're, well, you know, clipped out. Uh, unfortunately, the Bat chat comes in at exactly the right time, d messes up the scorpion a little bit, and then dies, thankfully. Unfortunately, he dies at such a point where, or, you know, unfortunately, the scorpion G goes down. But, well done. This was a good game. It was well fought. I wish we knew what the total damage was, but of course. Morgan has changed my settings yet again, <laughs> and we can't see this. Who's <laughs> well played though? Um, so uh, that's actually a really good uh, synopsis of why I love this tank. I just, you know, I still would have used a small gun. Ace tanker, spotter, bruiser, fire for effect. He gets a bond. <laughs> a high caliber. Well done. Um, I was trying to think, think of our blind shots. Yes, yeah, so we did hit the scorpion three times. So did we do all the scorpion's health and damage then? Or did we all do all the damage to the scorpion? I don't know. But um, well done, sir. 1300 base experience is nothing to shake a stick at. Almost 5,000 damage, and then another 1,300, you know, spying damage just because, and he makes a profit. Well done overall. Considering the fact that he only fired gold, <clears throat> this was impressive. Thank you so much for sending this in. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget, stay tuned for the bonus clip, and I'll see you next time. This I O E throughout. Drop down to find the relic. Oh no, this is a dropper map, you jerk butt! <laughs> <laughs> I almost did it too. <laughs> oh lord. Oh, yeah. That's my keep inventories on. It's a dropper, you just punched <laughs> me in. Feels bad, man. You know, somebody wasn't invited to Halloween <laughs> shenanigans anymore. <laughs> Hey, you punched me off a cliff before. <laughs> Same thing, except much deeper. <laughs>